In 1921, Dr. Herman Rorschach discovered that the way a person reacts to ink blots reflects the kind of person he is. Based upon this discovery, Dr. Rorschach introduced a new method of psychological testing. Hello. Won't you come in? Hello. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Cigarette? Yes. Thank you. Do you know anything about the Rorschach test? Oh, I, I saw the cards once. Will it affect my answers? I don't think so. I'm going to show you these ink blots. Tell me what they look like. Tell me everything you see. The administration of the test varies with the subject's age and background. Some must be gently encouraged, and some must be tactfully restrained from talking too much. Well, this might be a bat. A strange kind of bat, though. Is that right? It's fine. There are no right or wrong answers. I guess that's all I can find in this one. Can you see anything else? Take your time. I'm not sure. This might be a Halloween mask. And over here, looks like the figure of a person. Is that enough? Well, the number of answers is not important. Let's try the next one, shall we? May I turn it around? Yes, if you wish. Well, these might be two Scotty dogs. They must have had a fight. There's blood dripping from their paws. I don't know what the red is up here. Am I supposed to look at all of it, or just in parts? Anywhere at all. Just tell me everything you see. I guess that's all. These look like two waiters, and they're bowing to one another. And this might be a butterfly between them. After the subject has seen the ten cards, the inquiry begins. Interpretation depends largely on how the response was formed. What part of the block was used? Did color, shading, and sense of movement contribute to the formation of the response? The examiner tries to find out by discreet questioning. I'd like to go over some of the things you saw to be sure I understand them. You said this might be a bat. What makes it look like one? It's got wings sticking out on the side and a body in the center. What made it seem like a strange kind of a bat? It's got holes in it and the edges seem torn. And what suggests the Halloween mask? The spaces cut out for the eyes and the mouth. Show me how you see the person. Here she is, right here in the middle. Her hands held up as though she were praying. Well, here are the Scotties. Show me how you see them. They have their paws together. It's just part of the body. The back part seems to be missing. Any other reason they look like Scotties? Well, they're dark and fuzzy. Their heads are square. 
<laughs> they sure do look bloody. Tell me more about the waiters. They seem to be bowing to one another, very politely. They've got on high, stiff collars and high heels. And why do you think of them as waiters? Well, uh, they're in formal dress, black tuxedos. What suggests the butterfly to you? Right here, the way the wings are shaped. If it were just an outline, would it still be a butterfly? I guess so. But I've seen the bright red in tropical collections. I, I see something else here now. Looks like two monkeys. They have long tails. The third phase is testing the limits. In some cases, the responses may not have been given in the usual or popular way. This subject responded to shading in card two, but not in card six. I'm going to give these cards to you again. I would like you to look through them and see if you can find one which may look like either a fur rug or an animal skin. Well, the Scotties here look like furry animals. Can you find another? This might be an animal skin hung up to dry. Here's the head, the legs, but it hasn't any tail. The subject has identified the popular response in card six, but is he using the shading? Which one of these might have the heavier fur? This one. It seems a little darker. That's fine. Goodbye. Thank you. You have seen how a raw shock test is given. Here are some questions to think about. Why does the examiner remain passive during the first part of the test? What is the function of the inquiry? Why did she test the limits? What are your reactions to the giving of the test? 